Here's how the two gentlemen stack up with one another with the only real difference, significant difference, is just the experience uh, from Brohaska versus Albertson. It's done yet, Frank. Uh, the, the announcer's like, can you guys just go back to your corner for two seconds? Just one second. <laughs> ちゃん、中州さん選手。中州2.95。イ。プロハスカ。ケビン、またよ。ナイスセクション。この試合は大事。MVP の動画です。ノー。両者の応援により、セカンドタイム。ノー。オッケー。オッケー。ノー。オッ
But see how he's exploding it, where his feet are up in the air, Joe? He, he's got no pressure. He's using everything of his upper torso. He's got to put his feet on the ground and use his hips, get his hips involved. Right now, he's expending a lot of energy, which is helping Carl out because it's making him more exhausted without having to really worry about him getting out of it. Just about four minutes gone in the opening round here. Scheduled for two. First run, ten minutes. Second round, five minutes. Carl Albertson on top of Yuri Prohaska. As Frank said, Yuri's positioning is incorrect here, but he tried to buck to the right side, which is the smart thing to do. But yeah, I believe, Frank, you need to buck and hip escape if the yeah. buck fails. Yeah, He's ready yeah. to do both. And what we're seeing is a lot of one-time, let me hit this one-time explosive position, let's see what happens, as opposed to hitting, uh, and it took me a very long time to learn this, is that you can't do one position, you have to do a series of super small ones until you can get a position change where that one big one's gonna get you completely out. Uh, Yuri stepping all the way up to the final and not getting away. There you go, a little old school here. Elbow dragged across the face. Obviously, we, we didn't say before the fight or, or during the intros, elbows are allowed. Both both fighters have agreed to elbows in this one. Yep. And, and to be honest, we've had a lot of fighters tonight agree for elbows. We really haven't seen that much damage done with elbows at all. Uh, obviously, under under Japanese uh, uh, MMA rules, you know, the head stops and second kicks, we haven't seen very we haven't many. Seen many tonight, you're right. We saw the one knee for the finish uh, yep. uh, earlier, but it was already done before the knee even came in, came in the factor. Um, and the knee barely didn't really land that well. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, um, Asakura knew it was already done and didn't throw full force into it. So There we go. Prohasa gets out a good job defending himself down there. Four and a half minutes to go. In the opening round here, he was able to survive what Albertson wanted to do with this fight was to get it down to the ground and punish Yuri. Didn't do much punishing in my opinion, Frank, and now no, it's really time didn't. for Prohaska to really pick up the pace here, try and get this finished, the stand-up, which is where he wants it. Bobbing and weaving is Prohaska. As is Albertson. Trying to ensure that this is not a target you're going to hit. It's a moving target. Respect those Prohaska. I went to throw a kick or a knee and kind of hit the groin. And, you know, Carl shook it off. A little high in that body lock. It's a mistake for Hosko when he does strike in that manner to get too close to Albertson because Albertson wants the double underhooks, wants to clinch. is such a long fighter. He's so, he's so tall. He needs to use his length a lot more. He's really not using his length. He's really trying to step inside because he is explosive. He is strong. But he needs to use a lot more of, of his length in this position because if you let uh, Carl on the inside, he's going to take you down again. Oh, oh, wow. Lazy. I like those lazy kicks. You don't know where they're coming from. The timing is generally off, and boom, shit across the head. But here's Alderson oh, saying, you're not oh. doing that again. We're going to the ground. I thought uh, Yuri was going to be able to turn the corner on him as he got him thrown and put him on his back. Instead, he gets caught down. Oh, did he? Oh, look, Carl's bleeding. Yeah. So he got hit with something. I didn't see what uh, what caused that. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was a cut or if his nose is just leaking. Or his head's leaking. The referee's taking a look at it. He pointed to his mouth. No, that's coming out of the that's nose, nose. Frank. Okay. That's the nose. I wonder if it was that kick, the way he oh, landed. Oh, so I saw the referee tap his forehead as he was talking. And so I assumed it was, his head was bleeding, but it's a headbutt. So it was a, probably says an interdimensional class, the way they, when he jumped into each other. Okay. He caught him on the nose. I'm guessing, so I don't know for sure yet. We have to wait till the round's over before and get it all sorted out. Just over two minutes to go in this opening round. Albertson has him where he wanted now, and I'm sure there's a sense of urgency realizing that that is my blood that has fallen on top of my opponent, and I'm on top of my opponent. I gotta bloody him up now. You never know how bad you're actually bleeding when you're in it. All you see is blood everywhere, and you realize it's your own. Not, you're like, okay, if this goes to the doctors, this might stop. Yeah. I might lose this fight. I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep trying to get this, get this fight in a position where I can win. And unfortunately for Carl right now, he's in a spot where he could win this fight. 
But Yuri is so good from the bottom that he is stopping him from being able to, to do any kind of real solid damage from him. We just saw the look from the referee's angle. The referee, he, the referees here at Rise that do wear cameras. He's still trying the ground and pound here. Albertson still working away here. Just over a minute to go here in the opening round. As you saw there, Frank, Yuri just kind of opened his hands going like, are we going to still be here for a while? Or because like, you're not doing anything. Yeah, well, the, uh, the thing is that on the bottom, he's not taking any damage. So he feels like there's really nothing going on. There's nothing happening. But as we can see, and as you guys can see at home, that there is a lot of action going on. Carl keeps battling to keep on top. He keeps moving. Every time Yuri tries to get out of half guard, he puts him back There's in some half guard. fists. There oh. we go. There's some shots being landed there. Now we got the elbows that Frank Trey was mentioning. Why he stopped, I don't know, for the position, but he could have kept going, Frank. Absolutely. I mean, oh. Good job by Yuri to keep getting out of there. Fantastic job by Prohaska. And now there's, oh, there was the jumping knee attempt there that was mentioned. Nice left hook landed by Albertson now. Uh -oh, 20 oh. seconds ago, he drops him. Prohaska drops him. Uppercut. 15 seconds to go in the opening round. Picking up the pace is Prohaska. Bobbing and weaving his head is Albertson. Taking the shots. Hair flying uh -oh. everywhere. It's Down it. It's over. It's over. The referee says that is enough. Right before the final bell, Prohaska, after surviving the ground and pound on the ground, emerges victorious to defeat Carl Albertson wow. with seconds to go in the opening yeah. round. That's incredible. He was completely getting schooled on the bottom, was in a very bad position, never allowed any kind of damage to come down there. And when the damage did come, he took advantage of it because when someone sits up, he's been holding you for all this time, he sits up, gives you damage, he's now let you go. And usually what happens is everyone starts to panic and they get punched and they get elbowed and then you jump back down to hold him again. The moment he was able to shift, shift the position, once he got a little bit of damage done to him from the top.